to prevent the adoption of his five-year-old daughter. In May, the I-Team introduced you to Ulysses Carwise, whose girlfriend at the time gave up their newborn daughter without his knowledge or consent. Tonight, I-Team investigator Kyler McGivern brings us to Orlando, where the case began, highlighting an often private battle unmarried fathers can face and the Florida laws that allow it to happen. Walking up to the Orange County Courthouse, continuing a five-year fight to parent his child, Father Ulysses Carwise waits. Waiting on somebody to make a decision. I got my mother, Lakita, family friend, my sister, and my aunt. This emergency motion to relinquish the child comes years after the adoption agency, Bethany Christian Services, and prospective adoptive parents, referred to only as Katrina and William Doe in court records, took Carwise to court in Orange County to terminate his parental rights arguing that he had abandoned his daughter because he did not financially support her while she was not in his custody. After the trial, it took the court nearly a year to rule. His rights were not terminated, but Carwise's daughter stayed with Katrina and William while they filed an appeal. They lost that appeal earlier this year before filing another suit in Hillsborough County. And all I wanted was my daughter that they took from me from the hospital. Carwise is not alone. But it's the type of case that rarely makes the news because the hearings are private, something the judge wanted to make sure I understood. The judge called me into the courtroom and said, do you understand that this is a private hearing? You will not be allowed to sit in on this. I said I did understand we were not anticipating that would be the case. He asked if I had any further questions. I said no. I then left. They continued on with the hearing. What ended up happening today in the hearing? They Basically, I, in fact, my understanding is I need to file some more paperwork stating that I'm the father, no matter what. Because it, they know I'm the father, but it ain't in black and white. So you're saying you started the process of filing to establish a ter paternity, right. and they're saying we don't have any record of that. Right. A DNA test shortly after his daughter's birth proved he is her father. Carwise and his attorneys say he filed the paperwork to establish paternity through the court years ago, but the case never moved forward. Meanwhile, his daughter continues to live with the prospective adoptive parents, the only family she's known. After our story aired in May, Carwise was allowed to visit with his little girl in person. For years since the start of the pandemic, it was only over Zoom. When she came, she ran to me and gave me a hug. I don't know if she knew who, exactly who I am, but she gave me a hug and we talked that we, a little bit we could talk. You got to just say your prayers and put it in God's hand. I want my own child to read. I don't need you. I've been telling them that since day one. So she, now she's like five years old and now these people think they got some right to my child. I don't understand that. I just don't. And for the first time, we're hearing from the child's mother, Nikita Adkins, who was brought into the hearing. It's just taking way too long. Um, everybody wants her home, and it's just it. He's fighting for her. He loves her. We called and emailed the attorney for the prospective adoptive parents for comment and have not yet heard back. The next hearing is scheduled for mid-July. Earlier this month, we told you Governor Ron DeSantis signed a bill known as the Good Dad Act into law. That will give unmarried fathers who have proven they are the biological father the same rights and responsibilities the mother has. That law goes into effect July 1st and could impact cases like Carwise's. I'm I team investigator Kylie McGivern taking action for you. And if you have a similar case or know of one we want to hear from you, you can email the I team at I team at abcactionnews.com. Let's go ahead and get a first check of your weather now with meteorologist Shay Ryan in for